this part of California is absolutely amazing. I love it here. It, it's like no other part of California. And I mean, I grew up in the Bay Area, in San Jose, and lived in Los Banos and uh, Campbell, all those areas. And, and they're they're nice areas, but they don't hold a candle to what's here. I own and operate r and Huskies, which originally started out as a, a rescue kennel. And, uh, over the years, I've gotten away from the rescue stuff after I moved here, and have just now gone a full-blown race kennel. We are probably the largest working kennel, sled dog kennel in California right now. Our training starts, you know, like September time frame, and and we're out every other day with the dogs. It's a way of life. It's, it's what we live for every day. I moved up here when I experienced a change of life, getting divorced and starting over and brought my dogs up here and he invited me to come stay up here. And since we were going to races together, it made sense. We trained together, raced together. I have Siberian Huskies. You know, dogs are, are, are pretty smart and uh, there was a time where I, I got lost. A lot of the trail was disappearing because of the fresh snow. And uh, so I told the leaders to just go back to the truck. And they took me back to the truck. I got involved in, in mushing purely by accident. My sister had a Siberian Husky and she lived uh, in the Grass Valley area far away. And they, they were just, they wanted me to take it was the last one they had. And I kept saying no and saying no. And eventually, they did. I ended up taking the puppy, and that sort of snowballed. Don't try to run where the trail's the best. When you get in the snow on a sled, the only thing you hear is a little whistle from the sled runners going over the snow and you'll hear their paws hit the snow and that's it. For me, the, the most rewarding part about dog sledding is the bonding that goes on Watch, and, and watching a dog develop. And that's a reward, watching and, these young pups grow from nursing to become full-fledged lead dogs, sled wheel yeah. dogs, you know, part of your team and part of your family. It's not just running with the dogs, but the camaraderie you build with your fellow mushers at races and stuff, it's just amazing. People that don't understand dog sledding, they, they don't understand that these dogs are, are born and bred to run, and that's what they love to do. You can run them seven hours, 60 miles, let them rest for five, give them something to eat, and they're ready to go again for another 60. Uh, people that don't understand uh, think that maybe we force dogs to run. And, and you can't, you can't force them. And people, you know, that, that don't understand, they should just go out to a race sometime and watch them. They get <clears throat> lots of exercise running and out on their platforms, jumping up on their house, digging. They just stay happy and healthy and active all year round. The thing that I like the most about mushing and running dogs is that it's a bond with the dogs. We live six miles up a dirt road so we can have our dogs and, and train. You know, it's, it's just a way of life for us. And then as you come up through Bernie, you're going to start to climb up a hill and there's a little vista point. <laughs>